Good morning, beautiful people. How are you? Happy Tuesday. This is a late post, but it's still Monday and musings. It's everything I thought yesterday, but was too sick to say. How about that? Still feeling a little under the weather, but definitely always good enough to go to work, of course. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, how's it going? How was your weekend? I had a very busy weekend, I guess you could say. I had uh, the opportunity, I went to a wedding social on Friday night that was crazy. They gave away, as a super grand prize, they gave a car. A car. Yeah, not going to be happening at my social people, just so you know. <laughs> Unless someone wants to donate one for me, please feel free. Um, but it was very interesting and it was at the same location where we're going to have our wedding social. So it was cool to see how the flow goes and all that kind of stuff. And then Saturday morning, I had the opportunity to go check out the Big Brother casting for Winnipeg. They were looking for house guests from Winnipeg, and I interviewed on the fly Mr. Johnny Colatrugio, and we had a blast. It was fun. And then I interviewed the whole crowd. Well, not the whole crowd, but many people in the lineup. That was also fun. So if you haven't seen those, they're on YouTube right now. So go to youtube.com forward slash Peg City Lovely Natalie. That's my YouTube channel and you can see those videos there. It was pretty, pretty awesome. I knew on Friday I was already not feeling well and then we had to go to my fiance's uh, work, had a family event at the Amazing Corn. So it's the corn maze and it was a beautiful day. Beautiful out there, but I was already ridiculously tired and already feeling under the weather. So we spent uh, a couple hours there got home I would say around 2 30 and I slept till maybe 6 and then I got up and I was like uh-uh nope lying back down <laughs> definitely got hit with a head cold pretty hard um, so clearly I've been incubating that virus for a while usually that happens when people go to work while they're still sick or still germy and uh, I also have a toddler so that probably didn't help matters much but I definitely knew I'd catch something and so my whole weekend I was supposed to do a podcast on Sunday afternoon with uh, coach B from higher level fitness about five tips to choosing the right personal trainer for you and we're gonna reschedule that I believe to the 18th because of course this weekend coming up is Thanksgiving so we know everyone will be busy with their families and doing all sorts of fun stuff so we made sure we uh, skipped a week there but uh, there's been a lot of great positive feedback on the podcast that we did last week about five workout myths, top five workout myths. So I'm looking forward to these podcasts and continuing them and making sure they're more frequent and not just about health and fitness, but about business, about love, relationships, whatever. Um, so, so yeah, so that was great. And I'm here again as usual, sick as a dog, but trying to catch up on all the stuff that's been going on. I just had a recent post, uh, if you haven't already noticed, Sarah Baumler from HGTV. She's uh, married to Brian Baumler, which is House of Brian. And uh, she, in the summer, took a look at my backyard, my outdoor space, and gave some amazing tips. And I posted, finally posted that yesterday, 10 years later. But as you guys know, my blog was down for a couple months there, so trying to play catch up and rewrite some of the stories I had written for the summer, uh, it's been a little challenging, but they're getting there. You'll see them. This coming weekend is Thanksgiving. What you doing? Um, I don't know what we're doing, <laughs> actually. I know that on uh, Saturday, we're going to see the NBA game, my very first NBA game, Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Chicago Bills. And if you are a Marriott Rewards member, they have special events and private meet and greets with NBA legends this weekend. So I'm going to be hopefully hobnobbing behind the scenes and I'll be back to normal by then and I'll be able to do some interviews and behind the scenes look at my very first NBA game. So I'm excited about that. Oh, but before that, Thursday, Thursday evening is um, a event at the Fairmont Hotel Velvet Glove Restaurant. It's called Eat Local, Eat Local Drink Global. And it's with uh, Guy, or Guy, I guess, McClelland of um, 
McClelland Imports, and he is going to be doing some wonderful fine food and beer pairings with Chef Iraj at Velvet Glove. So that's this Thursday. I think there may still be tickets available, um, but I'll be there for sure. What else? Yeah, so it's a long weekend, and what else is going on? My little nephew is going to be turning six, so we're going to have a little party for him. Can't wait for that. And uh, just again, social planning folks i am just ridiculously crazy social planning most of my wedding party does not live in the city so or michael's so we're literally doing this with uh, a lot of help from family and friends and so again if you got some donations that you'd like uh, we will definitely promote your business and the hashtag is nat mike love lifted that's our hashtag that's also our gmail uh, email address and we're hoping to have a rock and social in the next couple weeks which is also celebrating my 40th birthday coming up at the end of the month what else oh my goodness guys I wrote a pretty emotional post yesterday as I was sick as a dog um, why because you know I think of when people talk about having a man cold and how you know it's you know stereotypical that men get really sucky and whiny and whatever and it's funny because I was sick as a dog in, and I've said that about five million times, but it's true. I was so sick that I never got out of bed on Sunday, pretty much. Just kept having tea and water and soup. And then yesterday I decided, you know what, I need to stay home again uh, because I just, my head was pounding and it was just crazy. But you know what takes over me? I'm home and it's like, mm, gotta clean the kitchen. Mm better make sure I make some food because I'm the one home all day like why do I do that why do I do that so anyways I wrote a post about it it'll be going live this morning because it just bothers me that there's like this guilt trip it's like feeling guilty for phoning into work sick like I'm clearly sick this is not a joke I'm, I didn't make it up um, feeling guilty when I'm the one home while my family is out and I still feel I have to make you know cleaning happen or make make dinner happen regardless if I'm sick why do I do that why does that happen why can I not stop and take time for myself and uh, I mean I did by calling in sick yesterday but I literally would have been absolutely unproductive and non-useful <laughs> to anyone yesterday with the migraine that I had so I wrote a little bit of an emotional post about it because I feel like you know it's it's frustrating you know there's got to be times where I, I was literally to the point where I thought to myself you know what? I'm gonna book a hotel room for myself and stay there for a weekend and just get back to Natalie I think I might actually do that <laughs> I think I need to do that once in a while um, that's probably why I'm missing out on some conferences uh, in the next bit too but um, anyways I just thought I'd share that little tidbit with you uh, because it was uh, it was interesting, very emotional, and like I said, you guys will be able to read it on the blog soon enough. So what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? It is Tuesday, like I said. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend and looking forward to a great week. I'm on the mend, back in full effect soon. As you can hear, I'm still congested and have some remnants of my, my head cold, but definitely feeling a lot better and making sure I'm filling my body with nutritious nutritious uh, ingredients I know this week for the subway Carl's crew is all about doing push-ups we'll see how well I do with that I may not win this challenge this week that's for sure but don't forget to enter for the $150 gift card got lots of stuff coming up guys tons of stuff once the socials out of the way I'll be even more busy with great events you might even see me on TV once or twice in the next little uh, while and of course continuing on with interviews and events around the city that's my thing that's what I love to do so again I hope you all have a fabulous week I know I will and I'm um, just gonna keep on with the positive thinking I have no quote for you today but I hope you uh, I hope you all take care of each other like I always say be good to each other and remember life is short so live that life live it quality make sure it's not about the, qu the quantity it's about the quality of it all right have a good one folks talk to you soon bye